Hello everyone, welcome you all in our next lecture of building construction, uh, chapter 2, construction of substructure. In this video, we are going to learn excavation, excavation for foundation, okay, earthwork. Putting foundation of building uh, transfer the load of structure as we know when that uh, structure to the subsoil before actual construction is done trial pit borings etc for checking subsoil conditions are taken okay and then based on that type of soil capacity against load foundation are designed so foundation are divided into mainly two types first is shallow and another is deep shallow foundations and deep foundation and hence excavation are also two types for shallow foundation we need shallow excavation and for deep foundation, we need deep excavation. Now, excavation can be done manually or with help of machinery also. Okay. The suitability of same depends upon various factors like cost, availability of machinery, quantum of excavations, etc. And uh, for suppose other, uh, suppose if excavation uh, if we have to do excavation then we it can be done in two ways if we have to do excavation for individual footing then it is in one type and uh, if we if we have to excavation for mass footing or a block excavation it it will be a rough type or a basement type so let's see uh, all the details regarding excavation first of all we have to ensure the safety in excavation to avoid, the, to avoid the accidents. So accidents in excavation are frequent and include a high proportion of casualties. One cubic meter of soil weight more than a ton and falling through only a short distance even half cubic meter of soil is sufficient to crush and kill a workman. And we know workman is a, a workman is a most important uh, part in our construction industry. So great care should be taken to support the excavation. And adequately this is done by timbering of trenches, okay, uh, which is the process of supporting the side of trenches by means of some wooden or steel members. Timbering is extended to the full depth of trenches. So let's say timbering and, uh, timbering and strutting thoroughly. When excavations for foundations are done, there are chances of sites yielding and falling inside the excavated area. For safety of the people working inside the temporary supports to the sites are given. So this method of giving temporary support to excavation sites for preventing slip of earth is called timbering. <coughs> uh, uh, even it also called strutting and it also called a shoring also. The timbering of excavation can be done in following ways like uh, stay uh, bracing, box sheeting, vertical sheeting and runner system and sheet piling also but for these systems uh, we need some components so let's see various members used in timbering first is polling board polling board is the member which placed vertically on the side of trenches directly or providing sheeting are known as polling boards the size of polling board may vary from 1.75 centimeter to 32 centimeter uh, to by 4 centimeter the, in in this image, you can see uh, these are the polling boards uh, which is used in timbering. Okay, these are the member of the timbering of the trenches. Now, walling wells or planks. The member are placed horizontally on side of the trenches or against polling board are known as walling, or also it is known as wells or planks. The sizes are given here 10 by 10 by 7 by 10 by 10 and 15 by 15 in centimeter. So their length may vary from 2.5 to uh, 2.5 to 4.5 meter. In this uh, image you can see, look here, here I am showing walling or we can say it blanks. In this image you can see the image uh, walling. Where is the cursor? Huh? Here is the walling. So this member is called wall. This is the horizontal member. Now another member is strut. The horizontal member of 
timber driven across the trenches between poling boards or walling are known as strut. So struts are driven at minimum distance of 2 meter center to center. Always this remember. And uh, strut may be circular having diameter uh, varies from 7.5 to 10 centimeter in section. So you can see in this image this part is also is called struts. These are the board struts. Here in this image we can see four struts. One, two, three and four. So this member is called strut which is used in timbering purpose as a member. Here are some images of timbering is done uh, in trenches uh, in uh, various grounds. Like here is the timbering is done in moderate, moderately hard soil. Here is in moderate, moderately hard soil. This is also in moderately hard soil. But its depth is 2 meter, uh, sorry, a uh, walling strut at, uh, at 2 meter interval. So these are some difference. Now another uh, member is sheeting. The member which are placed horizontally or vertically close to sides of the trenches for supporting their sides are called sheeting. The length of sheeting may vary from 2.5 to 4.5 meter. The horizontal sheeting is supported by folding boards and the vertical sheeting by walling. So this member is called sheeting. You can see in this method uh, these are the horizontal members is known as sheeting. This is mostly used by in timbering of trenches in loose soil. Okay. This is vertical sheeting and this is horizontal sheeting. You can see both difference. You can see the difference in both images. Okay. Another member is runner. The member which are vertically placed behind the walling instead of the polling boards are called runners. The runners are long planks about 7.5 cm thick and 1.5 7.5 to 22.5 cm wide. They are pointed at their lower end and sometimes provided at an iron shoe or an iron cap. So this member in this image you can see that these are the runners. Okay. In the down, downward side you can see the runners. Okay. Which are apart from 1.25 meter of distance. It also used in loose soil. Now, uh, as I said that timbering can be done in a number of ways. So, let's see uh, some, uh, some of the methods of timbering. First is stay bracing. Uh, so, its suitability moderately firm ground and depth of excavation is less than 2 meter. Then we can use uh, 2, uh, they, they, there we can use stay bracing method. In this method, what uh, what is done? Uh, support two are given by vertical sheets and uh, placed on opposite sides. Okay, or we can say it's polling boards. Okay, uh, we have to uh, support two are given by polling boards and placed on opposite side. Then sheets are placed at distance of 3.4 meter or and extend full height trenches. Okay, vertical sheets on opposite side kept on two meter by member called as struts. Polling board with polling board uh, width uh, is equal to 200 mm that is 20 cm and thickness about to 40 mm to 50 mm and struts are provided in one or two layers and has size of 40 to 50 mm so this is not this method is uh, called stay bracing it's easy and simple now another method is box sheeting now let's see the suitability. Also suitability of the box sheeting in loose soil where depth is of excavation is less than 4 meters. Means up to 4 meters. Okay. Uh, in this image you can see there are number of polling boards, number of walling or we can say planks or uh, strut members are there. Polling boards are apart from 2 meters. Okay. So let's see method. As the soil is a loose vertical sheet, polling board is a place nearest to each other. You can see the polling boards are near to each other. Means uh, in 2 meter distance there are 3 polling boards. Okay. So distance is too close uh, to each other. And sometimes uh, so uh, touch to each other. Okay. Wells are horizontal timber supports provided the polling board. Wells in turns are supported by struts. 
okay in two to three layers and even bracing also provided in case of very very loose soil always remember this now another method is vertical sheeting as name says this vertical sheets here are uh, used in this method that's why the name uh, is uh, is, uh, is here vertical sheeting suitability of this method is for drip deep trenches or pits uh, about uh, 10 meter deep okay in uh, in soft soil or loose soil so in this method we can go so deep up to 10 meter even in loose soil uh, so for that trip uh, for that deep trenches we need vertical sheeting method okay so in this method uh, this method is similar to box sheeting the box made up by sheets or polling boards and supported by wells or planks okay the different wing offset are provided at each stage of work you can see that here is the offset is provided okay every stage is limited to 3 meter depth so this is 3 meter this is 3 meter okay and of, uh, from 25, 25 to 50 mm per stage vertical sheets are separate from each uh, are separate for each stage always remember this okay vertical sheets are separate so this is first stage where is the person huh? this is 3 meter first stage here is the vertical sheets are separate here is the uh, another stage here are the vertical sheets are different so this sheeting method is called vertical sheeting for uh, deep trenches okay now another method is runner system where when the soil is extremely loose and extremely soft in such a case we use runner system okay to support the soil so let's uh, uh, let's discuss about its method. In this method, what happened? Wooden sheets with iron sheet uh, on on one end called as runners are used, and uh, wells and struts assembly is used to support runners. As soil is very soft, runners are first hammered inside the soil. The soil surface. Okay, uh, sorry. Uh, let's continue. As uh, as soil is very soft, runners are first hammered inside the soil and surfaced to a depth of 300 mm. And after insertion of these runners, excavation work are carried out inside that area. Okay, so this method is a runner system. Always remember. Sheet piling. Uh, Sheet piling uh, is the last method used for all uh, as a part of timbering and studding uh, to support the excavation to support the earth soil. Okay, so, so sheet piling we are used uh, where soft loose soil area of excavation is too much large, so we are there we can use large uh, size of sheets. Okay, uh, if in case of subsoil water is also present, then there also we can use sheet piles. So, this method is nothing but a sheet piling. Sheet piles are designed to resist the earth pressure only. Okay, uh, they are usually uh, driven in uh, driven in soil by pile driving uh, equipments and around the boundary of excavated area to depth more than excavations. Okay, these depths may vary from 10 meter to 30 meter. Always remember, if depths are greater, the supporting arrangement of wall stout and spray basing may be provided. Okay. So, these piles can be constructed of many different types of materials like timber, concrete, steel and maybe any shapes like uh, we will see that also in deep foundations. Okay, uh, that uh, what kind of material used for, what kind of materials are used for sheet piles, uh, for sheet piles. Okay, uh, so here, uh, here I am stopping as uh, all the uh, types of timbering and strutting is completed. Thank you so much everyone. Hope uh, you got all the concept.